Well, the Arctic air has settled over Wisconsin, creating miserable conditions for people and our pets. Especially dog walkers. Mm -hmm. It's a big challenge. But many animals are well adapted to thrive in the cold. But the birds could use a little bit of our help. UW Emeritus professor and bird expert, our friend Stan Temple, is back with us today. Hi, Stan. Hi, good, good to be back. Good to see you. So how are our birds doing with this bitterly cold weather? How big of a threat is it to them? Well, it's actually a pretty big threat for birds. This is unusual as it is for us. A number of years ago, my students and I did a big study looking at the overwinter survival of birds. And we found that during periods when the temperature stayed below zero, the survivorship of birds dropped by about a third. Wow. wow. So during that brief period of cold, it really does take quite a toll. And this is a prolonged period. And this of is below a prolonged zero. period. So it will take a toll, especially on smaller animals. Is there anything we can do to help the birds? Well, they need shelter. They need places that they can reduce their heat loss by getting into some kind of dense foliage, getting into a cavity, getting on the south facing side of a hill. Uh, but they also need to produce a lot of heat. And that means they have to burn up their body reserves of fat and replace that with food. And getting out and finding food when it's 30 below zero is a challenge. So bird, bird feeders help. Yeah, bird feeders definitely help, especially if you can give them food that is high in lipids, sunflower seeds, suet, things that are packed with energy. That's what they need. And what about their water sources that are all frozen this time of year? Water's important and they will be attracted to it, but if they're getting enough food, and their metabolism is humming away, trying to keep their bodies warm. They're actually producing water in their body. Do they become dependent on your feeder? Do you have to make sure you keep it going? Well, that was an interesting question, and we did address that in our study. And we found that even if birds had free access to a feeder, ad libitum, as much food there as they would like, they only took about 20% of their food from the feeder. They want to get it naturally. They well, they're keeping their options open. Oh, I see. <laughs> because Work in, in the neighborhood. Na <laughs> in nature, food isn't always there. So they're constantly checking sources of food, making sure that uh, if one source fails, they've got a reserve. Oh, interesting. That yeah. is very interesting. Yeah. What are some of the ty uh, kinds of birds we're seeing around the feeder this time of year? Well, the birds that you're seeing this time of year are, of course, the birds that are adapted to normal Wisconsin winters. So they're birds, for the most part, that are either permanent residents that are here year-round, things like chickadees and nuthatches and woodpeckers and, and blue jays, or they're birds that have actually come from further north to spend the winter with us. Like juncos. So things like juncos and tree sparrows are all birds that view southern Wisconsin, at least normally <laughs> as a nice place to spend the winter compared to Canada. And often, the, you know, on the ground at the feeders, you're going to see some rabbits show up and some squirrels. They need help, too. Absolutely. Yeah, it's not just birds. The other animals, uh, it's really the biggest challenge for small animals because they're the ones that lose a lot of heat really fast. And, of course, they can't carry much insulation. Yeah. A little bird can only have so many feathers on it. Bigger animals retain the heat and they can have better insulation. So by the time you get to something the size of a rabbit or a squirrel or, or a deer, they're actually in, in reasonably good shape compared to some of the smaller birds. And in normal winter, they're okay, but it's just this kind of yeah. polar. Yeah, this cold is really bad. And for the larger animals, really, you know, they, they just kind of shut down. Yeah. They as, just stay as we, as we all do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hunker down. <laughs> Some relief from the weekend, at least, yeah. so that'll help yeah. a lot. So yeah. get out, help your friends, help the feathered friends out. Yeah. Put out a feeder. Stan, Stan great to see you. Yeah. Good to see you. Stay warm. Yep, thank you.